Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here, continuing our Game of the Week coverage of Metro Last Light. In today's video, I will be focusing on the combat specifically. I'd like to show you the difference between standard FPS play and the stealth combat available in this game. So stealth is a major mechanic that will significantly alter the way you approach situations. And how I'm gonna compare these is show you a run through of a particular area using those two different play styles. So first we're going to start off by playing just as a standard FPS. I'll be running in guns blazing and shooting anyone who comes between my crosshairs, which will basically be anyone. Um, because I don't really have any friends here, they're pretty much just all enemies. So, And he just threw a grenade at me, so we're going to back up there to try to avoid the explosion, and he's dead, so wonderful. Alright, so we can loot these bodies here, which is in doing so we're going to pick up ammunition as well as military ammo, which is basically the game's currency. And uh, speaking of am ammunition, let's talk about the different weapon types and uh, the spe specific ammo as well. So, there are multiple different weapon types, all of which have uh, their own particular style of ammunition. Uh, so the three weapon types that I currently have right now is I've got a shotgun. I've got an assault rifle style weapon, and I've also got this pump gun, which it's kind of funny, it works like an airsoft gun, whereas it's got this pressure gauge that we can pump up in order to allow it to, uh, in order to allow it to do more damage, and just to shoot in general if you run out of pressure. I'm pretty sure you just literally can't even shoot, so. All right, so they've set off the alarm, so that means we're gonna be getting some armored enemies, and I'm actually, I wanted that to happen just so I could show you the armored, the armored foes in this game who are just more difficult to take down really require you to focus on getting headshots or just throwing grenades at them. Uh, speaking of that, let's talk about that. So we've got thrown weapons available. Uh, if I, let's wait till we reload here. If I hit tab, I can hold it down and you're gonna notice on the left hand side I've got a throwing knife as well as a grenade. There's also a spot for a claymore and a flammable weapon. I'm also getting hit here. As you can see that's not a full-on pause. Uh, so I've currently equipped the throwing grenade and I'll be able to show that to you. So we got this right here. I'm going to hit C. That will throw that. After a few seconds, it blows up. Now, I don't know if I actually killed anyone with that, but I think I did a bunch of damage to this armored guy, and now we're able to finish him off. All right, so my pump gun here, I'm also using it as a sniper rifle. I've got, like, a, a ranged scope on it. And <laughs> we've got the enemy over there dodging and weaving, but we're still able to get headshots. Why? Because we're a pro. Look at that dodging and weaving that they do. That's actually really funny. Did you see how that guy was sort of... He was trying to put the moves on there. I don't know how good this weapon is at super range, though. Uh, just because it is a pump gun. Oh, there we go. That works just fine. Uh, so, yeah, we've got... All sorts of different weapons, all the standards, you know, we've got the shotguns, the assault rifles, the SMGs, all that business, the sniper rifles, and we're just, I just want to quickly finish off these guys, uh, because really the big, the big thing that I want to show you, I mean, you guys have seen FPS gameplay, you know how a normal shooter works, right? I mean, this is all looking pretty standard, no, nothing too special about this, uh, this style of combat. Uh, but the big difference in this game comes in how you can approach the game stealthily and how much different that can make a playthrough. So that was this particular section here in the normal FPS shoot everything play style. Let's go ahead and do that over again, but this time focus on staying stealthy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and redo that section, but this time once more focused on stealth. And now in this playthrough, I'm also going to uh, take things a little, a little smoother or easier. And what I mean by that is we're going to Take, a, take our time and try to pick up everything within the environment and really focus on um, really focus on that. So what, what you just saw me pick up there is actually a silenced shotgun, which will make this whole idea of going stealthily um, that much easier. So let's talk about the stealth mechanic. If you take a look at the watch there at the center of the screen, you're gonna notice it says 1226, but also whenever you stand in the light, it's going to light up blue. That is essentially the mechanic that lets you know if you are visible to your enemies. Now, if it's not blue, you're basically in the free and clear. You're able to stay stealthy, and uh, and no one will be aware of your presence as long as that's not lit blue. And now it will be lit blue if a opponent decides to uh, turn on their flashlight and look in your direction. So that's something you also have to be careful of. Uh, you, it's not just if you're standing in the shadows. Even if they're right next to you, they're not going to see you. If they shine their flashlight on you, you are in trouble. So this guy's going down the stairs now. I've also walked to the side of this metal detector. And we've got a few options in terms of stealth kills. We can do a knockout with E, 
or we can do a kill with V. Now, when I play through like this, I actually just decide to go with the, uh, the knockout method, which is just basically punching people in the face. And you're also able to loot all these different chests if you uh, take the time to look through different, uh, different lockers, if you will. Some of them will contain items for you. We got a guy right down here, so I could use my stealth shotgun. Oh boy, still alive. Take care of him. So even though he noticed that I was there, the fact that he didn't go up to an alarm um, and set it off means that we're all set still. We are still in the clear. Nobody knows that we are here at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and take another look at these lockers because a few of them, I believe, are unlocked. There we go. Got ourselves a filter. That is going to be for the uh, for your mask, uh, allowing you to... Allowing you to breathe in the toxic air in certain environments, which plays a big part of this game as well, a little bit longer. Okay, so we're going to go through to the next section here. And this is the major section where being stealthy can be really beneficial. Now, you can use it to your advantage by taking everyone out, but you can also use it in the sense that you can completely avoid people as well. So these breaker boxes are going to shut off a majority of the lights in a particular area. And most of the time, you'll have one guard go towards that box to try to check what the problem was. So that's going to allow you to basically peel people away from the main group to take them out a little bit easier. So this guy now, he is going to be heading in that direction just to see what's going on with the lights. And then while he's over here, we can take him out stealthily and then go on to the rest of the group. So this way, when you play through, you're, you can st st sort of just be a little bit more patient, and you're going to want to wait until enemies are in the dark as well before you eliminate them, because otherwise you can run into problems. So we can run up to him again, do the knockout. And as long as you've got a silenced weapon, you can also just use that to take out people. Um, now, some lights that don't get tripped with the breaker box. Now, for example, you take a look at his... Um, you take a look at that guy right there, he had this little headlamp. Now, had I been spotted by that, he would have shouted and then everyone would have come over here and then that would have been some trouble. Now, we've got three guys right here, so what I can do is I can engage them if I please, but I can also just completely walk around them. And whenever there are lights, you can disable them like that, and if they're not... If, if you don't have the option of disable them by, uh, by uh, engaging with them with E, then typically you can just shoot them out. That will be a secondary option. So here's a light right here, we can go up to it, trip it like that, and then we're able to continue moving through stealthily. So I, I've actually found that I've played a majority um, of the game in stealth because I just really liked, um, I really liked the way the stealth mechanic works, and uh, I, I found that gameplay to be engaging. Now, as you can imagine, I mean, we just took a look at a run through Guns of Blazing, and that took about three minutes, maybe three and a half minutes to clear that entire section. You can go through much quicker stealth as well if you're even just not even focusing on taking anybody out, if you're just sort of walking around and doing a little bit of whatever and to try to find the next section that we got to go to, we just got to hold down M. So where I need to be is right on over there. Um, so, hmm, that's the best way to do this. We've got this guy right here. And we've got a bunch of lights over there. Let me go see if there's a breaker box in this other section, which actually I believe is where it is. Now there's a light right there. We can shoot that out, just like that. And here is the other breaker box. Oh wait, this is the door to open up. There we go. That is going to open up the door to the next section here. And again, there's a light, so we need to be careful for that. So I must say that uh, the stealth gameplay is, it's a gameplay mode that I've enjoyed the most. I found it the most tense, and it's the least like a normal shooter. You know, again, that first sec that first playthrough, that was just, hey man, standard, standard FPS action. But um, I found playing through like this is actually quite, quite enjoyable. I really had a lot of fun playing through stealthily, and I think that's probably how I'm going to focus on playing a majority of the game, because it really is that fun. So, that, I guess, was the entire point of this video. I just wanted to show you uh, how the stealth mechanic works in this game. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this look at the combat in Metro Last Light, focusing on the difference between a stealth gameplay and standard gameplay. 
Stealth is a lot of fun. All right, guys, well, we're going to be continuing our Game of the Week coverage uh, as we progress throughout the course of this week, looking at various systems in this game and features, and then wrapping up with my final thoughts. So far, I'm quite enjoying it. Uh, I'm really having a lot of fun getting immersed in this world. I think it's uh, it's a hoot. It's really, uh, really, really looking like a good game so far. So stay tuned for further coverage coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe, and as always... Keep watching and keep owning.